Hi, my name's Alex Wolford, and I want to show you how you can set up StreamSets Data Collector on AWS. It's pretty simple. So the first thing we're going to do is launch an EC2 instance. So my go-to flavor of Linux for this is going to be Red Hat. And I'm going to choose uh, T2 2 Extra Large here. Just need one instance. I'm going to give it 30 gigs. Doesn't need a lot of disk. Good to have a little headroom. Now I'm going to create a security group. Uh, and I'm going to call it uh, SDC Demo. So the security group is, uh, we can apply specific policies to this. And by default, it's just going to open up SSH to the world. So we're about to launch this instance now. I'm going to use an existing key pair that I've already downloaded. Launching the instance. This should take a couple of minutes. So now if I go to this instance, it's going to give me a public DNS here. And so this instance is spinning up. It's pending right now. I'm going to get ready to SSH into it. SSH dash I and then point to my PEM key. And the username is going to be EC2 user and I'm going to use that public DNS entry here. And it says it's running. Let's try and see if we can log in. OK, so now I'm logged into this uh, instance. I'm going to become root. And now I'm going to pop over to our website here, uh, streamsets.com slash open source. And I'm going to do an inspect element. This is my, my little um, cheat here to save myself um, an extra step of downloading a file and then copying it to that instance. I'm going to copy the element here of this download the full RPM for Enterprise Linux 7, Red Hat EL7. And I'm going to paste this into um, Sublime here. And I can see that here's the actual link with the download. So I'm just going to grab that, go back to my box here. I'm going to yum install wget. And now I can grab the, uh, that file, w get that file. This is a tape archive. It's going to contain all of the RPMs to install StreamSets Data Collector. OK, so it downloaded all the RPMs. I'm going to unpack them now. So tar, xvf, StreamSets Data Collector. These instructions are in the docs. In fact, I think our docs are pretty great. So now I'm going to go into this folder here and locally install all these RPMs. It'll take a minute or so. And while it's doing that, I uh, am going to, going to open up the, uh, the port in the security group so that we can access data collector from my house. At the moment, only SSH is accessible. We want to be able to access the data collector UI. So I just popped over to Google here, and I typed, what is my IP address? And this is my home IP address. So I'm going to go over to the EC2 management console. That's my bird. And so now I'm going to go to this SDC demo um, security group. I'm going to hit edit, and I'm going to add a new rule. The port for data collector is 18630, and I'm going to add that. Um, to the security group. So I'm going to call this Alex Home. So now I should be able to connect to it remotely. So let's grab the public DNS for that instance. Here it is. So after this is installed, I want to change ownership to a couple of folders. One of them is the um, ETC SDC folder. I want to make sure that the SDC user can edit any files in there that it needs to, and also the, in and also the installation files for Data Collector. So I'm going to chone SDC, SDC, etc, SDC, and I want to do that recursively, chone-r. 
And then I'm going to do the same thing for the installation. And so now we're ready to go. System CTL, system CTL, start SDC. And if I check the status here, it probably take 15 or 20 seconds. And what I'm looking for is a URL. Um, that is, it's, that's going to tell me that the UI is ready to be accessed. Let's check this again. Okay, so now we can see that it's running. This is the internal URL. We can access this from the uh, external DNS right here. And the port number is going to be 18630. So I'm going to paste this in here, 18630. And now we're in Stream Sets Data Collector. Now what I want to do, the admin admin is the default username and password. I'm just going to connect to a, a local um, MySQL instance that I have running here. I'm going to open up uh, a port on my firewall so that we can access this from outside. And now I'm going to create a JDBC origin. Go to Origins, JDBC. But before this is going to work, I need to up, upload the uh, drivers for JDBC. So I'm going to open up the, the package manager here. I'm going to hit external libraries. And I'm going to upload a jar. So, so this is for the JDBC origin. I'm go here is the jar that I have for MySQL. I'm going to upload this. And when it's finished uploading, it's going to ask me to restart data collector. This will take about 20 seconds. Again, when the URI is um, visible in the status, we'll be able to log back in. So you can see it's not visible here. Let's give it a moment. And when it's visible, we should be able to configure the JDBC origin to connect to my MySQL instance that I have running at home here. The UI is back. Let's log in. Admin, admin. And so now we can throw the errors away and uh, continue to set up this JDBC origin. So we're going to put a JDBC URL in here. And the host name is going to be my home IP address. And the port number is going to be 3306. And the username and password, I'm going to hide these. And the table, let's take, um, I actually I want to pull data out of a database called Cowrie. So I'm going to put the database name here, Cowrie. And I'm going to throw these records away. I really just want to prove that we can connect to it from outside. So I'm going to go, go and have a, a trash uh, destination here. So now I'm going to click on this preview button here. And I'm going to check the show field header box. And so great, I can see the records from my um, MySQL database here. And, uh, and I've connected to those using JDBC. We covered how to spin up um, Data Collector on an Amazon EC2 instance, how to install a JDBC driver, and how to connect to a, a MySQL um, over JDBC. If you need help, there, there are many community resources. So we have ask.streamsets.com, we've got a Slack channel, we've got a Google group, and our documentation, which is pretty great, uh, can be found on our website here. Thanks very much for watching. I hope that was helpful.